Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day for Wednesday, July the 8th. I hope you've managed to read the reading set for today and if not, take the opportunity to do that now. Our psalm delights in the fact that the way to go forward with yours and my life today is to use the light of God, his word. Whatever the conundrums and challenges in life, do not forget God's gracious word, his teaching. The Spirit will give you revelation as you read and meditate upon his word. You will grow to love his word. In an extraordinary account that makes some Marvel movie superhero heroes pale by comparison, we see how God, through Samson, demonstrates his huge strength to peoples around who themselves do not believe in God. The detail, I agree, is quite horrific and displays cunning tactics on Samson's part. He was certainly a force to be reckoned with. However, the point that he attributes strength to God is one we need to hold on today. Where is your strength rooted? And when you lose physical strength, as a dear friend of mine has done, as cancer and chemo have caused great weakness, to whom do we turn to sustain us? And then Luke takes us into what is a real sudden contrast. We come to meet Jesus in this beautiful account of his gentleness and the force of his love. His command, do not turn the children away. Let them come to me, for they above all others know how to receive the kingdom of God. Complete trust, filled with joy and delight. Being meticulously obedient to good rules and regulations will not enable you to enter and be part of the kingdom of God. The rich young ruler was so sad when he faced the barrier between himself and God, his money. Could he give it all away, or was he forever tied to it, so that money becomes the ruler of his heart and life? Who and what sustains you today? Seek God's light, his justice and righteousness. Run to him as a child does, and receive his joy into your heart. Do not be sad. Dear Lord, make your word to be the light that guides me. Give me life as you promise in your word. Hold me up and I shall be saved, and my delight shall be ever in your statutes. Amen.